Hello, hello. 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 Welcome everybody. Hello, good evening. Good evening, it's a pleasure. My name is Javier Gomez. I have some technical problems, but I am here with you. Sorry to be late. Uh, we're going to start with the course uh, intermediate three, right? So welcome. Uh, to introduce the class, I will make a presentation. And it is going to be in Spanish, right? Because it's just to give you basic information about the course, right? So just give me a second. Okay. Give me a second, please. Here I am. Okay. Good. And now uh, I will make the introduction. It says uh, English for Work Program Intermediate Three, right? The dates are from June 23rd today to July 27th. So we have five weeks, right? Five weeks. Okay. Or 25 days, if you want to say, right? 25 days from June 23rd today to July 27th, July 27th, right? That according to my calendar is going to be Wednesday, Wednesday, right? Okay, then uh, this is me, my personal information. And I have here my, my academy uh, instruction. This is a uh, profesorado de idioma inglés. Uh, además, soy abogado, a sus órdenes. <laughs> Um, he recibido cursos para la didáctica, para la planificación del idioma inglés, certificado por INSAFOR. Y muchos, muchos cursos, muchos, muchos cursos, entre ellos en, eh, este de Cambridge University y un curso de, en el ITCA también para capacitar para materiales didácticos para la enseñanza del idioma inglés. Okay, mi experiencia laboral es obviamente con inglés corporativo, Regal International. He eh, trabajado con el MINED también. He eh, trabajado con ITCA, GMC International Business School, Capucom y otras academias, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí aparezco un poco joven, <laughs> ¿verdad? Pero sí, soy yo, soy yo. I'm the one, right? Ok. Luego, eh, tareas y evaluaciones. Perdón que les lea en español, pero, ¿verdad? Es la, los requisitos de INSAPOR. Es necesario reunir tres requisitos. Three requirements, right? Requisito número uno, completar las tareas y evaluaciones uh, dentro de la plataforma. La, ta la plataforma, eh, les he enviado un correo en el cual ustedes tienen acceso dentro de la plataforma. Eh, van a aparecer cuatro unidades, ¿sí? Que son las que vamos a, a trabajar, ¿verdad? Eh, la primera es sobre el Life Cycle Product. Sí, me parece que sí, sí se llama la unidad 1, por ejemplo. Ya la vamos a ver en detalle. Luego está la 2, la 3 y la 4. A la mitad del curso vamos a hacer un midterm test, right? un, un examen de, de mediado de curso. ¿sí? Y eh, al final vamos a hacer otro examen para... Eh, terminar el curso que va a ser el día miércoles 27. Entonces, todo eso, los exámenes, las tareas eh, y todos lo los ejercicios que ustedes tienen que realizar en la plataforma, tienen que obtener como mínimo un 80%. Un 80%, ¿sí? Eh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, cada clase vamos a, a, a introducir un tema. Este día toca la unidad 1. En la página número 9 de su manual, la unidad se llama The Product Life Cycle. Entonces, ahora iniciamos. Al terminar el curso, pues, 
se sube un video a la plataforma y toda la información que tenemos aquí, además de otra información que yo les voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp, eh, ya la tienen ustedes accesible para hacer su primera tarea. ¿Ok? Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completadas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Recuérdense que Inglés Corporativo trabaja con Insafor y es todos los requisitos que Insafor pide, Inglés Corporativo tiene que pedírselos a ustedes. Así es que para este viernes a las 12 se cerrarían las tareas de ahora y mañana. Y la otra semana, pues, igualmente, cada viernes, ¿verdad? cada viernes a la medianoche. Luego tenemos la fecha de, del midterm, como les había dicho, es que el examen de medio curso es el miércoles 13 de julio. Entiendo yo que es hasta la medianoche, pero eh, a, según la información que tengo yo, cada viernes es que cierran el, la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero igual, eh, mi consejo es que vayan todos terminando eh, Clase terminada, tarea terminada. Eh, examen eh, comenzado entre todos, examen terminado, porque ese día vamos a hacerlo todos juntos, ¿verdad? Obviamente ustedes se pueden adelantar si quieren, ¿verdad? Y si tienen dudas y preguntas, yo estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí estoy totalmente a la orden. Sir, yes, sir. ¿Verdad? Estamos a la orden ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. Cualquier duda, no tengan reparo en hacerlo, preguntar, perdón. Y yo voy a estar ahí a sus órdenes, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a hacerlo también en clase. Este midterm lo vamos a hacer juntos, ¿sí? Luego, eh, el último día de clases está el final exam. Le repito, ustedes pueden hacerlo antes si quieren, pero ese día vamos a dedicar para hacer ese examen, ¿verdad? Es el miércoles 27 de julio, ¿ok? Además, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma, ¿sí? De la plataforma. Igual yo también se lo voy a estar compartiendo cada clase, ¿sí? Y si no lo pueden descargar de la plataforma, igual yo se lo voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp esta noche. Esta noche les envío el manual para que ustedes lo descarguen, ¿sí? Pero perfectamente lo pueden hacer por medio de la plataforma. Muy bien. Eh, ¿Any questions so far? ¿Hasta aquí hay alguna pregunta? Me imagino que todo esto ya lo vieron ustedes, ¿verdad? Ya saben toda la información porque han estado en cursos anteriores. Pero igual no sé si hay alguna pregunta. ¿Paramos? ¿Sí? ¿Seguimos? ¿Sí? Ok, muy bien. Let's continue. Requirement. Los requisitos son nombre completo de la plataforma. Aquí lo estoy viendo, ¿verdad? Veo a Domingo Alexander, que ahora escribió el grupo, por cierto, me parece. Mariano José, Oscar Arnulfo, Carlos Membreño, Ever de Jesús, Carla Vanessa, etcétera, etcétera. Los felicito. Aquí están ya todos con sus nombres, ¿verdad? Si hay un caso de un alumno que esté en la calidad de oyente, que va a ser un alumno también, pero eh, puede ponerle a la par la palabra oyente, ¿verdad? La par de su nombre. Cámara encendida toda la sesión. Eh, si quieren ir al baño, no se preocupen. Si quieren al levantarse, mordisquear un pedazo de pan o un sándwich o lo que quieran, pueden hacerlo, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Pero siempre en contacto con, con la clase, ¿sí? Pueden tomar agüita. En el caso de Domingo Alexander, me imagino que está echando su cafecito ahí. Muy bien, lo felicito. Bien, bien, bien. <ríe> ok. Y también minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Yo igual voy a hacer, ¿verdad? Solo que a veces, pues, los vecinos, <ríe> aquí tengo una mascota, mi perrito polar que de repente empieza a ladrar, eh, los vendedores de tamales de la noche, en fin, y todo eso, a veces eh, como que nos interrumpen, pero... Todo es normal, ¿verdad? No se preocupe. Participación activa. Eh, mi clase me gusta. Dinámica, right? I like the, the speed. I like to, the participation, right? Entonces voy a, voy a presionarlos. I'm going to squeeze you, right? Vamos a apretar para sacarles todo ese conocimiento que tienen, ¿ok? Good. Then uh, I have this information too. Asistencia al 100% de las clases. No pueden faltar a clases, ¿verdad? Y si hay un caso extremo de luto o enfermedad o cualquier otra cosa, todo tiene que ser por medio de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Su servidor, no es que no quiera, ¿verdad? Pero no tengo esa facultad de darles permiso. Yo no puedo darle permiso a nadie, lo siento. ¿Verdad? Tienen que hacerlo por medio de, de, de inglés corporativo, ¿sí? La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con todas las... 
eh, la clase completa, es decir, eh, participación, preguntas, etcétera, etcétera, pues ahí tienen ustedes que estar activos al 100% también. La asistencia la vamos a tomar tres veces, eh, a las 8 yo dejo pasar unos, ahorita por ejemplo, estamos en la introducción, yo dejo pasar unos 5, 7 minutos lo más, ¿verdad? Por aquellos que se van tropezando, llegando a último momento. En mi caso, por ejemplo, ahora tuve problemas técnicos, ¿verdad? Es algo normal. Eh, entonces doy unos minutitos y después tomo la asistencia, ¿sí? Eh, luego a las 9 y a las 9 y 55, ¿sí? Se tomará como... Eh, regálenme un segundito, que me están hablando de, de, de uh, asistencia técnica. Ok. Thank you, thank you very much. Ok, I'm sorry. Ok. Eh, si tienen a bien a veces, se, por estar tan entusiasmado en la clase que a veces se me olvida, ¿verdad? Pero ya a las 9.55, acuérdenme, teacher, de attendance, de attendance, y me acuerdan, ¿verdad? Eh, ustedes pueden decir lo que quieran, pueden decir good evening, hello, here I am, eh, whatever, right? Lo que ustedes quieran para hacer notar que están presentes. Es lo más común, pues present, 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 ¿ok? Good. Se tomará como válido escuchar la palabra al participante decir present. No pueden decir good evening, pueden decir hello, etcétera, etcétera. Cualquier palabra es válida, ¿sí? Y tener la cámara encendida, por supuesto, ¿verdad? A veces quizás nos arreglamos la camisa o algo y la apagamos unos segunditos, pero inmediatamente, ¿verdad? A encenderla, ¿sí? Por eso es un requisito básico de INSAFOR. Vamos a hacer sesiones de uno a uno. Este... Este día, regálenme un segundito, voy a alcanzar el listado, regálenme un segundo. Este día, por ejemplo, tengo eh, en, en agenda a Ada Patricia Linares. Ada Patricia, ¿se encuentra en clases? ¿Patricia? Bueno, entonces vamos a seguir con el segundo, sería Adriana Stephanie. Adriana Stephanie, ¿está presente? No. ¿Será que estoy equivocado con el listado? Bueno, Ana Selmi Chévez. Ana Selmi. Gabriela Alejandra. Ya me aflí, quizás me dieron otro listado. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, me hace un favor, Domingo. Lo voy a tomar a usted en la primera sesión, ¿le parece? Ok, está bien. Ok, good, thank you. I'm sorry, perdón, porque para no atrasar la clase, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a hacer la sesión con usted. Esos 10 segundos, 10 segundos, perdón, 10 minutos, eh, son para clarificar dudas, pues me imagino que ahorita domingo no tiene muchas dudas, pero podemos platicar y dar algunas sugerencias con respecto a ciertas habilidades de inglés, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Así es que es una clase personalizada, ¿sí? De 10 minutos. Y pues ya saben que no hay permisos disponibles. Les repito por última vez, ¿verdad? Yo sé que eh, muchos de ustedes a veces informan de, de la inexistencia alguna vez. Eh, yo tengo a bien a tomar la nota y, y saber que ustedes no van a estar en clase, pero no, no soy el encargado de, ¿cómo se llama? El encargado de um, dar, ¿cómo se llama? Ese permiso, ¿sí? Bueno, eh, luego dice botón de silencio, siempre tiene que estar en silencio, cámara encendida, eh, de vez en cuando vamos a hacer la actividad de breakout rooms y respeto ante todo eso. ¿sí? Esa sería la presentación, ¿verdad? Eh, me dejan tomar la asistencia, pero creo que ahí tengo un problemita porque hasta ahorita he nombrado cuatro alumnos y ninguno está. Voy a seguir y si no, pues me van a dar tiempo para verificar el listado. Vaya, Gabriela Alejandra. Gloria Elizabeth. Guadalupe del Carmen. José Ernesto. Bueno, entonces regáleme un segundito. Creo yo que tengo el listado equivocado. Voy a... Voy a verificar, regálenme unos, unos segunditos, por favor. 
regálenme unos segundos. Si hay alguna pregunta, por favor, ahorita es momento en todo lo que ando revisando por acá. El listado. Con respecto a la asistencia, sí, sí, es, es, es siempre, siempre eh, ahora es el 100% de asistencia. De, tienen de, tienen que asistir al 100%, sí, correcto. Una, anteriormente decía que era un 80%. Sí, lo que pasa es lo siguiente, mire. Eh, ustedes, eh, recuérdense que tienen el curso gratuito, ¿verdad? Y Insafor exige que sea el 100%. Ahora, a ese margen del 20% es por cualquier enfermedad, eh, por cualquier situación de, de luto Se que llegue, se pueda dar, ¿me entiendes? Por llegadas tardes acumuladas. Podría ser también por llegadas tardes acumuladas, porque a veces de repente, estos días de lluvia, por ejemplo, uh -huh. este, a veces se nos hace difícil, ¿verdad? Estar a tiempo en clase. No tengo otro listado. Van a disculpar, estos problemas técnicos no son comunes para mí. Regálenme un segundito acá. Si no tengo otra información más que este listado. Y hasta ahorita ya nombré ocho participantes y ninguno está presente. Entonces quizás, perdón, estamos en intermedio tres, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ya, sí. 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 Vale, muy bien. Entonces estoy bien con el nivel, pero no sé qué pasa aquí con el, el listado. Bueno, voy a seguir mencionando. Se, al menos se a... lo dieron a otro teacher, quizá. quizás. Quizás. Este, voy a seguir mencionando a todos y si no voy a tener que escribirlos, ¿verdad? Este, y luego voy a averiguar con, con el equipo técnico. Julia Patricia. Carla Verónica. Lourdes Beatriz, Luis Orlando, Nelson Edgardo, Ofelia Orellana, Pamela Beatriz. No, nadie, no, no está, este listado está equivocado definitivamente. Pues no entiendo, realmente no entiendo por qué no veo otro listado. A, a veces me aparece junto con el listado de otros compañeros y aparece mi nombre específico y no está ahora, no lo veo. Bueno, entonces vamos a hacerla de la forma más larga. Lo siento mucho, pero voy a ir preguntándoles sus nombres uno por uno. Ok. Regálenme un segundito, vamos a cerrar por acá. Y bueno, vamos a ir copiándolos uno por uno, ¿sí? Eh, bueno. Eh, Domingo, ¿me regala su nombre completo, por favor? Domingo Alexander González. Alexander González. Gracias, Domingo. Seguimos con Mariano. ¿Nombre completo, Mariano? Mariano José Paca Santa María. Mariano José Pacas Santa María. De aquí ya estamos tomando la asistencia, ¿ok? Uh, Ever de Jesús, apellido, por favor, Ever. Candray Montano. De Jesús, Candray, perdón. Candray Montano. Candray Montano, correcto. Muy bien. Eh, Carla Vanessa, ¿me regala su apellido completo, por favor? Vázquez de Ayala. Perdón, me repite, Carla, disculpe. Vázquez Carla, de Ayala. Vázquez, Vázquez de Ayala. Vázquez de Ayala. Muy bien, gracias, Carla. Eh, sigo con eh, Debbie. Regáleme sus apellidos, solo déjeme escribir bien su nombre, Debbie. <ríe> muy bonito, por cierto, ¿verdad? Pero no, 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 es, no es muy común. Debbie. Vale, sus apellidos, Debbie. O su nombre es no. Debbie. Jasmine con J y con, con Z. J. Jasmine, ah, exactamente como la flor. Sí, sí. Debbie Girón Jasmine. Ramírez. Dubón. Girón. Girón, perdón, perdón. Girón Ramírez. Ok. 
Qué lástima que estamos perdiendo tiempo por este detalle técnico, pero es necesario. Eh, luego sigue Vanessa Noemí. Me regala sus apellidos, Vanessa Noemí. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Reyes Lemos. Muy bien. Luego sigo, permítame, vamos a avanzar con las cámaras. Eh, Leslie Arlín. Per, permítame que voy a... Leslie. Ajá, Así como está la cámara, ¿verdad? Leslie. Un nombre muy bonito también, pero no es muy común. Gracias. Va, va Leslie. Arlín Bautista Pérez. Arlín Bautista Pérez. Mi mamá tenía un nombre bien raro también y bonito. Se llamaba Evelicia. Nunca he escuchado el nombre de ella. Bueno, Les, Leslie Arlín Bautista Chávez me dijo, perdón. Pérez. Pérez, perdón, perdón. Ok, en la alcaldía me despedirían. Eh, luego sigo con Wendy Amaya. Regáleme su nombre completo, Wendy. Wendy Karina Morales Amaya. Karina con K. Con sí. K, sí. Sí. Wendy Karina. Sí. Apellidos. Morales Amaya. Morales Amaya. Morales. Morales Amaya, ajá, correcto. Luego sigo con. Sí, eh, sí. Gracias, Wendy, gracias. Carla Benacir. Oh, ya voy a tomar estos nombres. Bueno, ya, ya tengo suficientes niños, pero, pero para darlos de sugerencia. Me gustan. Vaya, Carla Benacir. Lara, Lara González. Lara González. Sí. Muy bien. Carlos Membreño, ¿me regala su nombre completo, Carlos? Carlos William Membreño Núñez. William con M, Will. Sí. Con, con M al final. Carlos sí. William Membreño Núñez. Núñez. Gracias. Luego sigo con... Ya no me aparecen más en cámara. Déjenme ver. Domingo, Carla, Wendy, Vanessa. ¿Alguien que no haya mencionado, por favor? Me ayudan. ¿A quién no he mencionado? Me, Va, me Va, vamos uno por uno. Si gusta, me levanta la manito, por favor. Para no confundirnos. Eh, levánteme la mano, por favor. ¿A quién no mencioné? A mí, eh, perdón, voy, voy manejando el chat, por eso me he puesto la cama. Ah, vaya, vaya, está bien, sí, sí. Eh. José Roberto Martínez. José Roberto Martínez. Bernabé. Con la lluvia, José Roberto. Sí, gracias. Te está lloviendo. José Roberto Martínez. Correcto, gracias. Bernabé. José sí. Perdón. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Bernabé. Correcto, estamos ahí, ya estamos con la asistencia también. Eh, ¿Quién más? Porque me sonaron dos micrófonos, ¿quién más? ¿A quién más no he tomado su nombre? Voy a repetir, Domingo Alexander, Mariano José, Ever de Jesús, Carla Vanessa, eh, Debbie Yasmín, Vanessa Noemí, Leslie Arlín, Wendy Karina, Carla Benacir, Carlos William y José Roberto. Falto yo. Va, eh, de, de Aminda mis... Figueroa. Vale. Ese es su nombre completo, Aminda. Am, es Aminda René Figueroa de Manzano. ¿René con dos E al final o solo una? Con dos E al final. Dos E al final, va. Correcto. Aminda René Figueroa. Figueroa de Manzano. Figueroa de Manzano. Perdón, perdón. Sigamos entonces. Eh, luego tengo dos participantes, pero no. Adela Trinidad. Adela, cómo no. Gracias, Adela. Solo Adela. Adela Trinidad. Ah, Trinidad es nombre. González. Correcto. González. Consuegra. Consuegra. Sí, es que Trinidad lo he visto como apellido. También Javier lo he visto como apellido. No me lo van a creer. Vale, ¿qué más me falta? Buenas noches. Oscar, Oscar. Buenas noches. Oscar. Buenas noches. Good night. Oh, 
Sí, le estoy viendo ahí en la pantalla. Oscar Arnulfo. Villatoro Herrera. Villatoro Herrera. Así es. Gracias, Oscar. Herrera. Muy bien. ¿Quién más? ¿Anybody else? Me, mister. Okay. Yes. Wow. Salvador. Salvador Augusto. Yes. You have a name of an emperor of Rome, right? Tiene un nombre de emperador romano. Salvador yes, Augusto. but I don't like... You, you don't like Rome. You don't no, like no. Augusto. I don't like Augusto. But your name after a, a month of the year, you know? Yeah. Okay, Salvador Augusto. Sorto La, Rivas. Sorto. Sí, but sí. you can call me Chamba, mister. Chamba, okay, thank yes, you. Yes, please. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Chamba, okay, good. Eh, perdón, solo voy a leer unos chats acá. Veanme un segundito. Sí, aquí está Oscar Anulfo. Eh, muy bien. Tengo a Claudia. Ok. Muy bien, Claudia, le tomamos su nombre. Eh, ¿Qué más me hace falta? Tengo hasta ahorita, realenme, eh, 16 alumnos. Eh, tendrían que ser por lo menos 20. Me faltarían unos 4. No sé si alguien me falta del grupo. ¿No? Vale. Perdonen porque es primera vez, ¿verdad? Y, y el listado siempre me lo envían completo, pero ahorita lo acabo de hacer yo. Domingo Alexander... Mariano José, Ever de Jesús, Carla Vanessa, David Yasmín, Vanessa Noemí, Leslie, no sé si lo pronuncio bien, Leslie. ¿Así está bien, Leslie? Es Leslie. Ajá, Leslie. Sí, Ajá, es Leslie. Yo intento decirla ahí. Sí, es Vaya, Leslie el... Arlín. Vaya, vamos a, no se preocupe, me va a tomar tiempo, pero lo vamos a lograr. Leslie Arlín. Wendy Karina, Carla Benazir, Carlos William, José Roberto, Aminda René, Adela Trinidad, Oscar Arnulfo, Salvador Augusto y, y Claudia. ¿Estamos bien? Muy bien, entonces comenzamos con la clase. Esta es la primera asistencia. Eh, luego me imagino que se va a incorporar alguien más, pero después lo vamos a tomar en cuenta, ¿sí? Ok, so let's begin with the class. We have lost a lot of time. So it's time to begin with the class. And let me see here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work program, right? Intermediate three. And today it's May, sorry, it's not May, it's June. <laughs> June 23rd, 2022, right? And the name of the unit is Product Life Cycle Vocabulary, right? Okay, so this is the introduction. Here we have some uh, language you can use in class. Uh, can you repeat that? Excuse me, can you repeat that? How do you spell, how do you spell language, for example? L-A-N-G-U-A-G-E, right? So. I'm sure you know the alphabet, right? Okay, but you can make this question. Can you speak more slowly or the opposite? Do you think I'm, I'm, I'm speaking too slowly? You say, can you speak more? Can you speak faster? <laughs> okay, any other way, right? And if you want to know the meaning of something, for example, you say, teacher, I don't understand what is life cycle. What does life cycle mean, right? Remember, this is an English English question, right? And then, uh, what's the answer for number four? What is the answer for exercise three? What is the answer, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Then pronunciation, right? How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce cycle, for example, right? How do you pronounce idea, curtain? Huh? This some word. This word is really difficult to pronounce. Or mountain. How do you pronounce mountain? <laughs> it's mountain, right? Mountain. 
Or you say montañoso. How do you how do you say uh, how do you pronounce this word? Mountains. Mountain. Mm -mm. Okay. And how do you say cat? I mean, how do you say gato in English, right? How do you say wow wow? How do you say perro in English? Oh, the opposite. How do you say a dog in Spanish, right? How do you say the product life cycle in Spanish, right? So as, as you want, English, Spanish, Spanish, English, right? When you have a question, you stop me and tell teacher, stop, please, you, you raise your hand, right? I don't say hands up, but I say hand up, one hand up, right, in, in the computer, right? So, and then I will say, yes. So you can make any of these questions, right? These are some basic questions. I know you are intermediate, but these are very useful, right, in this class. Good. Any questions so far? Okay, let's continue. Then we're going to introduce, okay? And the first introduction is going to be me, right? Hello, good evening, everybody. My name is Javier Gomez. I live in Mexicanos. I work in Inglés Corporativo and also I work in Mined, right? I like, mm, I like many things. I like pizza, mm, yummy, yummy. I like to go to the mountains. I like Alianza, Albos, right? I like Barcelona, mm, okay? And I like dogs, rawr, rawr. I like the, the dog, right? So that is me. And then we're going to start with Domingo. Ladies and gentlemen, Domingo Alexander. Uh, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my, na my name is, my name is uh, Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Uh, I like in Cojutepeque. I work in Rayones de del Salvador is I'm company in, in, in Lopango. Uh, uh, I like is uh, the, the sport the volleyball. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So Domingo, you're a sport man, eh? Nice, congratulations. Thank you very much, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Cojute, cojute. We have Domingo yeah. Alexander. It's a pleasure, Domingo. Welcome to the class. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, then uh, Mariano Jose, please. Uh, good evening. Good evening. My name is Mariano Pacas. I li live in Mexicanos too. Oh, we're neighbors. We're neighbors. In Dol Colonia Dolores. Ah, Colonia. Ah, yes, I know. I know Colonia Dolores. Is Colonia. Ah, oh, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> I work, in, I work in Maxima Tecnología with Technical Advisor. Oh, and okay. I la, what is I that, la, uh, Mariano? What is that? What is your company? In what city? In San Salvador. San Salvador. Ah, oh, okay, good, good. Yes. And I like to to watch movies and soccer uh, matches. Uh -huh. <laughs> and eat pizza too. Oh, delicious, right? <laughs> what is your favorite movie of all the time, Mariano? Your favorite movie of all the times? Uh, I don't have a special or favorite, favorite movie. Any specific gender? Horror? Uh, action? Action. Cartoons? Sorry, action. Action, yes. Yeah, it's excellent, the action. The only bad thing about action movies is sometimes they say, son of a, you're a mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The language yeah, is not good, eh, Mariano. <laughs> it's more expressive, but it's more interesting. I know, I understand. Okay, thank you. Welcome, Mariano. Then we have thank Ever you. de Jesus. Please, Ever. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good Welcome. evening, everyone. Thank you. Okay, my company name is Ever de Jesus Candray Montana. Uh, I live in Soyapango town. I am working a family business since three years ago. And in my free time, I like to uh, 
pass uh, time with my uh, family and my day of practice running too uh, and another things. Good, and how many children, sorry Ever, how many children do you have? I have uh, two children. Uh, no, sorry, repeat. I have two children. Two children, uh, okay, good. Uh, two children, the young, so the younger uh, uh, is uh, eight years old and uh, the, the more longer, it, it, he has a uh, 14 years old. Oh, they are very young. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. And, and, and uh, one not say copy, no? Okay. And what things do you like, Ever? Sorry, teacher. What things do you like? What, what do you like to do? What do you like to eat? What do you like to watch? Et okay, my favorite. Uh, in my free time a day off, I dedicate more time for the running, uh, running oh. uh, uh, asphalt, I don't know what to say this uh, in English, and the mountain for the trail too. Uh, I like to pass on time with my family too, for uh, we're, we're gonna, with my children to watch another movie on the, on the, on the movie now. Excellent. And I know, yes. So you're a family man. You're a family man, right? Good. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, man, yes. Welcome. Thank you, Welcome teacher. to this class. It's a pleasure. Thank Good. you. Okay. Thank you. Carla, please. Carla Vanessa. Hello. Hello, uh, hello. My name is Carla Vanessa. I live in La Paz, but I am from Soyapango. But I have in, to move Sorry, here. Carla. In, in what part of La Paz? Last time I was visiting some places in La Paz. I know El Santiago Rosario. de Malco. Sorry? El Rosario. El Rosario. Excuse me, yes. because I have this question. Uh, last Sunday I went to San Francisco, Chinameca, San Emigdio, <laughs> uh, San Juan de Pesontes. It's far from here. It's far? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. El Rosario is uh, very near for a uh, prison. Okay. Called El Pedregal, so I go there. Okay. But I have to move here uh, because a uh, lot of things. My husband is from here, so I have to move here. Uh, I work in Textiles La Paz, and I like to watch soccer, the oh, NBA. Excuse me, nice. <laughs> yeah. From El Salvador yeah. or, from, or from another from country? From El Salvador and Europe. Oh, nice. El Salvador Alianza. Oh, excuse me. Hey, your name again? Carla Vanessa. <laughs> Extra bonus for you. Yeah. Extra bonus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, I like uh, also Europe. Okay. Uh, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Okay. Arsenal. The champion, the champion, right? The champion. Yeah, I like yeah. Barcelona, but I have to recognize that in this moment, the best is Real Madrid, right? Yeah, Champ I the like champions to watch from... the NBA too. Uh -huh, okay. So I like, I like to watch Netflix and whatever. Okay, good. Nice. Thank yeah. you very much, Carla. It's a pleasure. Welcome to the class. Okay, Debbie. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Debbie Giron. I live in San Salvador. I work in Garabato. I'm a graphic designer. Oh. Um, I like watch TV and spend time with my daughter. Ah, you I have don't... a daughter. What's her name? <laughs> yes. Sorry, Debbie, what's, what's the name of your her name? Her name is Fiorella. Fiorella, oh, beautiful name. <laughs> How old is Fiorella? She's five years old. Five years old, oh my goodness. They are tremendous this, this age. Yes. They are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, good, Debbie. What else? Mm -hmm. And what, what things do you like to do, Debbie? I don't have much free time, really. 
Oh. <laughs> but I imagine you, you, you use your free time to stay with your daughter, too, right? Yes, at home, sometimes visit my, my family, my grandma's or my dad's house. But... Okay. Do you cook? No, no not much. My Coffee. husband. My husband. <laughs> yes. Okay. Pedido ya, okay. No, my okay. husband cooks. Okay, very good, David. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Thank Welcome. You. Vanessa? Hello, Vanessa. Vanessa Noemi? Hello? Okay. Me imagino que I, uh, I imagine she has some, some, some problem with the internet. So, Leslie, please. Ah, Vanessa. No, sorry, sorry. Vanessa, come on. Uh, I can see you, Vanessa, but I don't listen to the, the microphone. Yeah. I, I can hear you, Vanessa. Maybe your, your microphone is on. Hello? Your microphone is on, Vanessa. It's not working, right? Okay, uh, Vanessa, do me a favor. Uh, I need you write in the chat all your information, Vanessa, for the moment. I don't know what happened with your microphone. Maybe it's a problem, but in the chat, if you want, yes? And later we're going to make the your, your introduction, please. So uh, for the moment, we're going to have Laisley, right? Laisley, please. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Laisley Bautista. I live in Merliot City. Mm -hmm. I work in Pi Laboratories. And it, 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 sorry, um, is medicine? Medicine? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good, good. Um, I'm an industrial engineer. Oh. And I like to practice CrossFit, weightlifting, and swim. Um, I like eat pizza, <laughs> and I like uh, the animals. Do you like animals? Yeah. Oh, good. So you have pets at home? Yeah, I'm two, I have to go two dogs. Two dogs, my goodness. Yeah. From time to time, <laughs> you're going to listen to uh, my dog, too. His name is Polar. Uh, recently, <laughs> he, he brought me a bowl because he, he wants to play with me sometimes. When I have classes, you know, he comes to interrupt all the time. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, how about your dogs? Uh, what are their names? Um, I have two dogs, and one of them called Onji, and the other called Mocha. Mocha. Mocha is uh, from the street. I rescue most Mocha. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, um, Onji and Mocha have are. Um, four years old. Um, okay, is four years old. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's an adult, right? Um, yeah. Good. And they are so electric. <laughs> I imagine. What breed? <laughs> what, what breed? You know what is breed, right? Uh, no. Breed. No. No, breed is raza. Raza. Ah. Breed. Uh -huh. um, B-R-E-E-D. Breed. So what, what breed are, are your dogs? Mm. Um, how do you say mezcla? <laughs> they are mix. A mixture of some breed, right? A okay. mixture. Okay. Um, they are a pitbull with a labrador. Ah, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Good. What else, Leslie? Um... Well, I, I'm single. I'm not a mom. <laughs> I'm not okay. mom. I live with my mom and my, my brother and enjoy, my... Enjoy your, enjoy your freedom. Look at this. <laughs> Don't get married. <laughs> okay, no, wait, wait right? <laughs> Maybe in the future, right? In the future. The future. Moment, wait. The enjoy future. the life. Enjoy the life. <laughs> hey, teacher, how do, you, how do you say envidia de la buena? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. I remember when I was single. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Leslie, it's a pleasure. Welcome to the class. Now, Wendy, Karina. 
Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Um, my name is Wendy Karina Morales, but can you call you can call me Wendy or Wen? Um, oh. I live in Ateos in La Libertad. Ateos, son sonate. La Libertad. Ah, La Libertad. Excuse sí, me. La Libertad. Yes, sonate. it's near to it's near to Lourdes Colón. I understand. Sorry, yes. uh, Wendy. The there is a new road, right? That uh, is a yes. runabout. Runabout is redondel, right? A runabout, Gabriela. Runabout in Sacacoyo. Okay, uh, it's, I mean, is it next to Ateos? No. Yes, it's very near. Ah, oh, good, good. Very good. near. Continue, continue, Wendy. Okay, um, I work in Jesus, Instituto Jesus Obrero. That is a high school. And it, this high, high school is located in Ateos too. Ah, so, good. Um, Sorry for the yeah. interruption. Uh, because in, in Mexicanos, we have a Jesus Obrero too. It's, it means yeah, that yeah. many places. Jesus no, Obrero, there are places. two different places. Ah. Uh, Jesus Obrero, that is in Ateos, is a high school that is managed uh, for uh, Maristas Brothers. Maristas, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, yeah. And I worked there since um, 2009. 2000. So, so you're a teacher? And, and no, I'm not a teacher. You're an administrative teacher? Yes, academic okay. secretary, yeah. Good. Um, okay, in my free time, uh, I want to say that I love music, so I listen music all the time. Nice. And I like to go to cinema with my friends too. Uh, I like drink coffee, and I I love oh, I love to spend time with my family. I enjoy it too much. Good, very good. Yes. Wendy, now that you said that you like coffee, uh, I told you last. Well, I told the class that I went to to, uh, I don't know, it's Carretera Panoramica, I guess, or Carretera, something like that, that is, uh, you pass for uh, Santiago Texacuango, San Francisco Chinameca. So I went to a place named Kiosco San Francisco. And the really? coffee there is mm, mm, beauty, uh, beautiful, <laughs> delicious, sorry. Okay, I, I'm taking notes. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, if, if you go to uh, Comalapa Road, then you, you take the detour uh -huh. to Santiago Texacuangos, and then you go to San Juan de Pesontes. It's next to- Is this a cafeteria? Uh-huh. Eh, Comalapa, Santiago Texacuangos, and then San Juan de Pesontes, and is next to Cafe Santa Cruz. Okay. Uh, What's, what the, is next? The place is beautiful, and the coffee, mmm, delicious. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, recommendation, Wendy. Okay. Thank you. And, thank you so much. And welcome for- to this class, welcome to this class, right? Thank you so much. Okay, Carla, please. Carla Benazir. Hello, hi, Hello. good evening. Um, my name is Carla Lara. I live in, in San Martin. San Martin, oh. Si. Uh, I work in Green Industrial Park. Um, I like uh, the coffee. The coffee pizza. too. Yeah. Coffee and semita is the life, you know? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. And, and what, what, what kind of food do you like, uh, Carla? What kind of food do you like besides um, coffee? Yeah, the coffee. Um, Chicken, beef, pizza, lasagna, mm -hmm. pupusas. No. The usual, the usual <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you know, all Salvadorian enjoy pupusa. Well, I I like pupusa. Yeah, but I like pupusa. You like yes. pupusa. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Thank you very much, and welcome to Thank the you. class. Eh? Good, Carlos William. Hello, Carlos. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Carlos Membreño. I you call me. You have called me Carlos. Carlos. I live in San Marcos. I work in, in factory textile. The name is Cas W. And I like sparks. I like run, ride a bike, and watch TV. Okay. And 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 do you have a bike at home? No. No, no. I don't have a bike. But you, you enjoy run. the activity, yeah. yeah. Yes. What other sports do you like? Uh, Carlos, do you like? To go swimming, for example? Yes, I like swimming, oh. but 
my favorite the sport is run. I like run. Good, excellent. This is nice activity. Go jogging in the morning, right? Uh, and yes. where do you usually go? Uh, because in San Marcos, I imagine mm. it's next to uh, Comalapa Road, right? Yes. Where do you usually the... go to run, Carlos? I I prefer in the Parque Bicentenario and mm. Mm. and. I, I like run from my home. Nice, it's a good to, place. To Santa Tecla. <laughs> no, on, eh, eh, toda Comalapa. <laughs> okay, <Y> vuelta. <laughs> so be careful yeah. if you run there, but in Parque de Centenario is beautiful, yes. The only problem yes. sometimes are the mosquitoes, right? That you have to, <laughs> okay, but the yes. place is beautiful. I like the, so go and continue being a sport man, right? Congratulations. Now, Jose Roberto. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. My name is, hello. Yes, I'm listening. Okay, my name is uh, Jose Roberto Martinez. I live in San Francisco, Chinameca, in La Paz. Oh, uh, excellent. I, yes. I told you, I went there. Yes, it's a beautiful place. Come on, beautiful. Yes, beautiful. a lot of place, yes. <laughs> Uh, well, I I work in Antiguo Catlán. The company is McC sorry McCormick. Um, I like uh, to visit um, a lot of places, uh, especially near in in my in my in my uh, how do you say Pueblo? Sorry. In my town. In my town. In my in my town mm -hmm. and I like I love uh, do dogs I have a, a dog okay um, what's the name of your dog uh, the, uh, the name is um Iki 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 yes uh, oh, he's a like, mix. like you know like uh, like a person when a person is picky you know <laughs> okay no 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 Iki uh, it's a mix of uh, between um Pitbull and Labrador. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. The same, uh, who say who has two dogs, sorry. I lost the memory right now, but yes, in this group, everybody yeah, likes dogs. I'm sorry? <laughs> I yeah, the same. Dogs like, like him. Okay, good, excellent. Yes, we love dogs, dog lovers. <laughs> so continue, yes, Jose Roberto. Yes. What else do you like? What else do you like? Uh, well, uh, about foods, uh, I love, I, I, I like it, uh, ribs um, and pupusas. 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 Yes. The, the moss in El Salvadorian, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roberto, and welcome to the class, okay? So. Okay. Uh, sorry, I say Aminda René or Arminda, sorry. Aminda. Aminda, Aminda. Okay. Aminda, that's right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, Aminda. Okay, tell me. Okay, okay. Hello, my name is Aminda Figueroa. I live in San Antonio Abad in San Salvador. Ah. I work in Taka International Airlines. Nice. And I like uh, watch TV and drink coffee too. Coffee, another coffee lover, especially this yeah. time, right, Aminda? Sorry? Right now, this time, this weather, I mean. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly you know the, the exactly time when, when you really need a coffee. You know? <laughs> it's yeah, <a> yeah. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Listen, the doctor said I must not drink coffee, but sorry, this time is absolutely necessary, right? And yeah, I, I, I think. I mean that, do you like to to uh, eat semita too? You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's the best. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Aminda. Thank you. Welcome. Adela Trinidad, please, welcome. Adela. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Trinidad Gonzalez. I live in Sonsonate. I work in college. In, I work, like... Wait, wait, wait. You work in a school or, or university? Um, college. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But sorry, sorry, because college is university. But school is, you know, like public and private school. So 
Okay, I work in a school entonces. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, yes, it's a, it's a colegio, right? Colegio, but... but I like... Mm -hmm. what, uh, what is the name of the school? Uh, Sorry, what is the name of the school? Uh, La Santísima Trinidad. Oh, uh -huh. good, good. Thank you. Continue, continue. I like uh, my work. I like uh, pupusas. Oh. And... Um, I like watch movies. Movies, nice. What kind of movies do you like? Trinidad, what kind of movies? Horror movies, uh, romantic movies, action movies? Very, very. Oh, all the movies, right? Okay. You know what, what I like is about detective, you know, crime. I like when they, the detectives are following the crimes and they they capture the, the crime, so, so I, I like the criminals, so I like the, those movies. Okay, very good. Thank you, Trinidad, and welcome to this group, right? Then we have Oscar Arnulfo. Uh, ah, sorry, my, yes. nick, my nickname is Trini. Trini, okay, I like it. Yes, Trini. Thank you, Trini. <laughs> now, Oscar Arnulfo. Hi, hello. Hi. Good evening, my name is Oscar Arnulfo Toro Herrera. I live in San Salvador. I work in Centro de Distribución Regional in San Marcos. I like to drink Coca-Cola. Oh, no coffee, Coca-Cola. <laughs> and my free time, I watch TV. I enjoy it with my family. Okay, and do you like sports, Oscar Arnulfo? Do you like sports? Yes, USP. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Oscar. Thank you very much. Uh, I like to introduce my, my dog here, right? Oops, here's my dog. Oh, Polar, you know? <laughs> Say hello. Hey, hello, everybody. Yeah, this guy is really tremendous, you know? Yeah, he's a very tremendous guy. <laughs> okay, and now let's continue with Salvador Augusto. Hello, Salvador, welcome. Hi, mister, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Okay, mister, my name is Salvador Sorto Rivas, but you can call me Chamba. Chamba, I know. I live in San Salvador. I work in Tigo oh, and nice. I like to run early in the morning. And my free time, I watch see the movies. My favorite movie is Forrest Gump. Oh, I can't believe and, it. No, no, wait, wait, Chamba, wait. This is also my favorite movie of all the time because it's a combination of the history of the United States and music. My goodness, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And where do the you best usually go, go running, Chamba? Where do you usually go running? We're at the street. Oh. And, and sometimes on weekends, I go to the Eco Parque, El Espino. Ah, El Espino. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Nice. Congratulations. And, and then in my free time on weekends, I spend my, my time with my family. We, we go to the cinema or we go out pizza or hamburger nice. it's depends <laughs> depends on what, what do you want to do with, with your family so it means yeah. that you have children Chama. yes you have children yes how many i have uh, one son i uh, just one son what is the name yeah. of your boy his name his name is salvador adrian salvador like he has like, he, like his father he has three years old <laughs> yeah yeah i i i imagine <laughs> yeah i have a son too his name is javier too you know we hear it yeah is the yeah, rule we, we pass the name right <laughs> okay so it's chambita junior yes eh? <laughs> okay so welcome yes, salvador. <laughs> welcome to the class it's a pleasure okay then claudia Thank please you, Mr. claudia Hello? Okay, I understand that you can participate, Claudia. Okay, 
Give me a second. Let me see. Um, okay, good. I understand. So you're, you're going to listen. That's it, right? Now let's go back to let's go back to Vanessa, right? Vanessa, did you fix the, the microphone, Vanessa? Hello. Can yes, you hear hey, me? very good. Excellent. Okay. You have some <laughs> problem, right? No, <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Vanessa. Hey, I live in Lourdes, Colón. And Lourdes, actually... Colón. Sorry, Lourdes, Colón? Yes. No, it's not Lourdes Dollar, no. No, Lourdes, Colón. Colón, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Continue, Vanessa, continue. <laughs> actually, I work in Nivel Plastic. And, uh -huh. and I like to visit different places to our country. And I like to go to Buffalo Wings. I, I love wings. <laughs> okay. So it, it means that you like to go to the mountains, Vanessa? To yeah, the rivers? Yes. Oh, they nice. are my favorite places. <laughs> okay. A, a place that you can recommend to go with for the group? Mm, to... Llano del Muerto. Llano del Muerto. Yes, it's a beautiful place and it's, Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Morazan, I think. Morazan. Yeah. Okay. You can Google and you can watch the photos that are. This is a cas cascada. Uh -huh. It's it's a a, a fall a fall. There it's is a, a fall. fall mm -hmm. And the weather it's nice. <laughs> Okay. Habrá, habrá saltado la, la peña del, del Llano del Muerto. ¿Peña? No. ¿Qué no. No. <laughs> ah, well. well, well, is it? ¿Es un rock o qué? ¿Es un rock? Sí. Yeah. Sí. Ah, ok, I understand. And there, mm -hmm. Vanessa, there is a river too. Uh, I, I imagine because you say it's a fall, a river. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, the, it's a river. The, cold, a... the water is very, very cold. I can't. Oh. And I can. What? No, you can yeah. bath. You can bath. Yeah, yeah, I can bath. Or you cannot swim because it's so cold, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Very good, mm -hmm. Vanessa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good. Uh, now, because of the time, this is the second attendant, right? So, uh, remember, I told you that we're going to take the attendance just three times. So I took it for the first time, and this is the second time, right? Good. I will repeat your names. And if you, if I forget someone, you tell me, please. Uh, Domingo, Mariano, Ever, uh, Carla Vanessa, Debbie, uh, Vanessa, Laisley, Wendy, Carla, Carlos, Jose Roberto, Aminda, Trini, Chamba. That's it, right? Anybody else? So, someone new in the class? Someone I didn't mention? No? Okay. So let's continue with the class. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Yvette. I will take your name, Yvette. Please speak. Come on. You can speak, Yvette. Hello. Hello. Give me your full name, Yvette. My name is Sonia Yvette Alvarenga. But Again? you can call me Yvette, please. Okay. Uh, with with B, right, Yvette, with B. Only Yvette, you don't have a middle name, Yvette? No. Hello? No. No, no. You don't have a middle name? No, only Yvette. Only Yvette, please. Okay, good. Alvarenga, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, would you like to introduce to the class, Yvette? Uh, yes. Please. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I work in Laboratorios Five. And I, and I like to cook in my free time. And oh, watch, yes. watch TV. You like to cook and watch TV. Nice. And what is your specialty, Yvette? What is the best dish that you cook? Uh, pasta. Pasta, mmm, it sounds delicious, right? Nice, congratulations, congratulations, okay? And welcome to the class, welcome to this class, right? Good, now, anybody else? Another new student? Nobody? Okay, 
So let's continue with the class. We have a lot of things to do, right? Before to start, I like to make this discussion, right? Uh, I like to bring a topic. It's not necessarily connected with the, with the manual, but it's uh, something really interesting, right? So I have some questions here. I will ask some specific students. And the topic is advertisement, you know, ads, commercials, commercials, advertisement, right? And then I'm gonna start with, with Yvette. Come on, Yvette. What is the most shocking advertisement you have seen, Yvette? The most shocking. Yvette, do you copy? Okay, so Chamba, please help me. What, what is the most shocking advertisement you have seen in your life? Well, mister, I don't remember the shocking advertising, but maybe the, the commercial, how do you say, anti, uh, para no fumar. Ah, okay, against smoking, against smoking, yes, okay. Good, it could be nice. And what about, thank you, Chamba. What is the funniest advertisement? Uh, Oscar, tell me, Oscar. What is the funniest advertisement you have seen in your life? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> Not any. I don't remember. Okay, I but. What thing do you do you what thing do you imagine that makes a, a now memorable? Uh, uh, what makes an advertisement remarkable, uh, Oscar? When, uh... Do you think is the image, the message of the advertisement? Um, the people that are in the, the, the advertisement, what, what do you think helps an ad to, to everybody remembers? Because I remember many advertisements, I, I, many commercials, sorry. Yeah? Yeah, it's every commercial or advertising having any, any, any message for okay. the people. The message, um, the message that you receive. For example, when someone tells you, this is the best hamburger, you and your family are going to enjoy this hamburger, is the best, right? So it may be the message is this member, right? Yvette, I copy your message. I copy your message, Yvette, thank you. Okay, uh, Oscar, thank you very much. Now, Trini. Mister. Yes, sorry. tell me, tell me. The best advertisement is the Coca-Cola. Coca <laughs> I imagine. I would say the best advertisement is for it's coffee, but you say for Coca-Cola, yes. Maybe the ones in, in Christmas, right? I remember some birds. Right, I mean, uh, Some white birds, polar birds yes. that appear uh, for Coca-Cola, right? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Tell me, Mariano. Uh, for the number two, the funny advertisement, uh -huh. do you remember uh -huh. the, the uh, Burger King advertisement, but the... The elf or mi middle, middle, uh, the stack burger. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Meat and cheese, that. meat and cheese. Uh huh, yes. And, and it was, it's a, and yes. it was very funny. The guy was uh, pushing everybody to make the, the big hamburger, right? Yes, meat I and cheese. I remember, yes. And I, I also remember one number, uh, an ad, a commercial, because when it's, the advertisement is in TV or, or in the newspaper, it's, it's a commercial, right? So I remember one about a cookie, the name, the name of the cookie was Tipo. Yes. Yes, I remember that. Very memorable for me. Yeah. And the uh, music. Carla Vanessa, yeah. uh -huh, yes. And the music in the ad. Uh-huh. It was very romantic, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. And now, next next question, please. 
Aminda, please. Uh, what are the different types of advertising? Uh, different types. Uh -huh. Example, TV. Well, this is very common. What else? Uh, different types, maybe to the commercials advertising or uh, financials advertising. Uh -huh. Types, I think. Yeah, and, uh, well, I will give another example, right? The, the billboards, you know? The billboards are the, you know, the big uh, stream sometimes in uh, those are TVs. Uh, you know, ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. For the maybe to the shows to be or mm -hmm. TV billboards, yeah. Or Do you think the you, soccer you... soccer cup of champion leagues? I, I, I don't like uh, uh, the soccer, but uh... mm -hmm. yeah, it's it, these days is very common, especially because we're going to have the, the world soccer, right? Yeah, in, in November, yeah. But well, we have uh, the media that is. Uh, in internet, right? In every time you see a video in YouTube, you have a commercial, right? An advertising. Uh, yeah, so okay. the, the media, TV, newspapers, billboards, the radio too. Do you think the radio? Yes. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Aminda. Okay. And Jose Roberto, uh, do you buy products because of advertising? Yes or no, Jose Roberto? Uh, yes. Yes. For example, uh, I, in the morning, I, I like to hear the radio, a program specific, and in this uh, in this program, um, advertise about uh, a cleaning of for the uh, a product of a product for cleaning for cars. the car. Yes. Well, you're and, totally uh, right. In fact, my wife bought it too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, and you're and, talking about laser, right? Laser, the radio. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I also listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And one time, uh, once, uh, one time, I, I, I go to buy this product, and, nice. and I like it. No, it's, it's a good product. Yes, it's a good product. Yes. Right? <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now. Uh, Carlos, please, Carlos William, uh, do you find advertising persuasive? You know, persuasive is um, something that convinces you to do something, right? Persuade someone is convince someone to do something, right? So, Carlos, yes. do you think advertising is persuasive? Yes or no? I, I think yes, because the, the uh, all of my advertisement have a message for you, yeah. for, for you need this product or this activity. In your case, uh, have you been convinced? Not really. No, no, no. okay, good. Well, me, me, me neither sometimes. Yeah, but the product that uh, Jose Roberto said, yeah, yeah, it's kind of kind of good, but but normally when they say, this hamburger is the best. I mean, you're going to, to know the heaven if you try. <laughs> I don't believe. For me, they don't persuade me. Huh? <laughs> Good. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. And Carla, Carla, eh, why do you buy one product over another product? Let's say about cleaning product, for example, right? Um, why? Why do you do that, Carla? Benazir, please. Do you understand the question, um, Carla? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Um, okay. I, I think um, for the uh, the commercial, um, maybe um, with um, maybe with um, other people use. Okay, so it means that you prefer one product uh, over another product because of the experience some people have with this product, right? Right. For example, I don't know, but I imagine girls uh, have, uh, they use makeup, right? And then uh, I, I don't know, I don't know brands, but uh, I imagine you prefer uh, Maybelline? <laughs> no, I don't know brands, but 
But I imagine that uh, for makeup, uh, there are one some products that are better than others, right? I yes, imagine. and and uh, um, maybe a um, model where where is? Okay, in your case, Carla, what 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 is the brand that you use for makeup? Sorry to ask mm, you. No. You don't have a specific brand. No. No, no. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Wendy. Uh, should advertisers be allowed to advertise to children? Um, yes no? In my opinion, no. Why? Why do you think not? Uh, I, I don't know. But maybe because the advertisers sometimes are explicit or, um, I don't know, the children are so innocent. I know. I, uh, I have children, so I, I know, right? And... Uh, recently, there was a co uh, controversial issue, right, about the, the movie both last year, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, also some toys, for example, they normally they they try to convince children to drink soda or to buy some specific toy. It is right? okay. Mm -hmm. It is okay, but but when when talk about uh, sexuality or some or some yeah. topic like that is very. I don't know. I, I yeah, don't know. I agree with that. It, yeah, you're right. It's complicated because yes, they are exposed to many things in internet, in TV. So if they advertise to children, it's not so good. Yeah, so now I, the children. Okay, uh, now the children all all have a uh, one cell phone and they watch videos in YouTube and then they can see advertisers there. But I, I know. agree. They are yes, it's very complicated. They for, are really exposed, the right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Too much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wendy. Now, Leslie, please, uh, should alcohol or tobacco companies be allowed to advertise? Yes or no, in your opinion, Leslie? Those who sell uh, whiskey, beers, uh, Muñekov <laughs> or tobacco, right? Leslie, can you hear me? Okay, so Vanessa, help me, Vanessa. Vanessa, no, me? For me, it depends. I, okay. I don't like alcohol or tobacco. For me, it don't allow to advertise. But but I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a big deal for you. It's yeah, for me, for me, no. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Oh. The, whiskey, the whiskey, yes. The whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the, only the whiskey, say, right? Should be allowed, right? <laughs> I need to. Okay, the beers. The beer. <laughs> yeah, guys. Honestly, I don't think they need publicity, in my opinion, right? <laughs> in my personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people buy it, right? Well, next question, please. Uh, Debbie, can you help me, Debbie? Uh, what do you think of celebrity endorsement? Endorsement is when, um, let me say, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo uh, has an endorsement. But he has endorsed a product, mean. right? The Herbalife, I guess. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, this is one example, uh, but there are many examples. What, what do you think about that? Do you think it's okay? Maybe. I think they don't need endorsement, but it's okay for some uh, celebrities. How, how, yes, how to say ellos son ejemplos. Aha, uh -huh, they are models. They are models to yeah. follow. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. If they KG, for example, drinks Coca Cola. Okay, let's drink Coca Cola. <laughs> depend, depend of the product and depend the celebrity. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, because we have uh, for music, from uh, sports. Obviously, uh, if we talk about tobacco and alcohol, nothing is. And endorsement. It's not good, right? Nobody. Yes, I don't imagine Messi something smoking. like that. <laughs> or, yes. Or, or, or Messi showing, you know, uh, 
Yeah. Petrov is the best. <laughs> I don't imagine that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and then, thank you, Debbie. Carla Vanessa. Carla Vanessa already participated, right? Yes. Uh, ever. Sorry, ever. Help me, ever. Uh, which celebrities yes. advertise which products? If you remember, ever. All teacher a lot, no? No, no. Okay. Uh, you you I said, will tell you, you this said, example. I say Cristiano Ronaldo, you, Herbalife. You Give me another no. example. Uh, Messi, Adidas. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes. One or this is one example, though. The yeah. Magico. Ma the Magico Gonzalez. Uh -huh. Magico. Yes, uh -huh. Magico. Like that's the brand. That's the brand of the shoes. Magico. Yes. That's, the, that's the name. Yeah. And that's and a separate for me, right? The menu. And you can play the. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Good examples. Thank you, Ever. Mariano. Okay. Thank you. Mariano, uh, do favorite or annoying celebrities make you want or not to buy? This question is very uh, extensive. Teacher, for this answer, do you remember uh, for my case in my in the time for the school? Mm -hmm. I remember in the work of the I don't remember the year, but uh, the shoes or how do you say tacos? The tacos. soccer shoes. Ah, uh, yes, soccer shoes. Soccer shoes. The, the soccer shoes of Ronaldo. Ah, the total, yes, I remember. The total noventas, the night. Uh huh. Excellent. Is, is the example the so classic case, examples? Okay, they uh, they move you to buy those those. Soccer shoes, Mariano. Yes. You were convinced, because, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, and, and then you say, Ronaldo's using those shoes. I will use those yeah. shoes, right? <laughs> or play, but Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah. With if Michael Jackson is using those shoes, I'm going to use them, right? They are the best. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Recently, for example, I don't like reggaeton, but uh, uh, this singer, KG, uh, they say la, la bichota, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, she was singing in El Salvador, right? And imagine she said, okay, Pupusas Julia is the best. <laughs> I can imagine, but reggaeton now, now is very popular, right? Maybe we have yeah. some uh, celebrities endorsement today with this kind of product, right? Okay, thank you very much. This was the discussion. Now let's continue with the unit number one, right? Now this is the class. This is the, the, the language we're going to learn, right? And uh, Domingo, can you help me reading the objective for this class, please? Uh, they will, they uh -huh. will, I will be, be able, able with the verb, uh, describe the toys about the stages of the product life cycle. Cycle, cycle, yeah, thank you. Cycle. Good, thank you, Domingo. Now listen, class. Well, we have many products. We have talked about shoes. We have talked about uh, beverages. <laughs> Sorry, we have talked about uh, cleaning products. We have talked about, you know, cars. Uh, well, we, there are a, lot, a variety of products, right? And those products, they have a life, you know. For example, uh, I'm sure you are very young, but they, there was a milk named Formos. Formos. Uh, today, the... the the name is not Formos, it's, uh, what is the name of this milk? Uh, Muki, Muki, Leche Muki, right? So that is the name of the new product. But in the past, the name of this product was Leche, Leche Formos, Leche Formos, right? And the product come to life like, like a person, you know? And then, then a growth, grow, grow, you know, crecer, right, grow, and then it declines, and then it disappears. For leche formos, no more, right? I was telling you about uh, galletas tipo too, right? Galletas tipos, I don't know if today we have galletas tipo in the supermarket, but yeah, I they might... are still alive. Is it still alive? Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. but, but they are not very popular, you know? But in the past, yes, it was very popular. So uh, what I mean is that the, all the products have, they have a life, 
they have a, a life in a cycle, right? The, the first time they are very popular, but then you get accustomed to the product, to, pro, to the product, sorry. And then sometimes, sometimes, or most of the time, this, this product disappear, right? So this is the topic for this unit number one. Now, to begin, we're going to learn about some vocabulary. Because of the time, we're going to read very fast, right? So uh, can you help me, Mariano? Read the first okay. concept, please. The first concept, stage. Okay. Stage, a point, period, or a step in process or development. Example? There is no need at this stage to give explicit details. Thank you very much, Ever. Next one, please. Discontinuing. The teacher, discontinuum. Discontinue case doing or providing something. Sample. The ferry service was discontinued by the proper proprietors. Very difficult Propriators. to Proprietors. 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 For the owners. For the owners. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So cease, stop doing something, right? Producer, please. Uh, Carla Vanessa, can you help me? Okay. A company, country, or person that provides goods, especially those that are produced by an industrial process. Good. Goods or merchandise, right? Merchandise, goods, products, right? Good. Buying out or buy out, right? Uh, Debbie, please, can you help me? Buying out, buying out a situation in, a, in which a produce procedures by producer, producer, a producer mm -hmm. by the shares belong, belong, belonging? belonging to another produce, produce and so get control of it. Okay, I will explain this because it's kind of difficult to understand. Uh, okay. Uh, imagine Coca-Cola company uh, is producing Fanta, for example, right? And so another Pepsi, for example, right? Uh, buy the rights, you know, the derechos, the rights uh, to produce Fanta, you know? So Pepsi is buying out a part of Coca-Cola company, you know? A part of the company, right? So that is buying out. When you buy something, you buy the, the right or the shares of the parts of this company. Understand? Okay. Develop, please. Uh, Vanessa Noemi. Vanessa Noemi. Hello. Develop. Please, can, can you read develop, please? Develop. Okay. De develop. To cause something to grew or change into more advanced, larger, or stronger form. Okay, thank you very much to develop, right? In this case, we're talking about products. For example, you can see this, the shoes, right? You de develop a model of shoes. Huh? So you uh, grow, cause this, this uh, product grow, right? And uh, it becomes to a, a product so everybody can use it, right? So that is developed. Now we have next one, please. Uh, lately, please, can you read branding? Lately? Okay, Wendy, please help me, Wendy. Okay, branding. The act of giving a company a particular design or symbol in order to advertise its products and services. Mm -hmm. That's it. Design or symbol. For example, uh, Wendy's hamburger, right? Uh, Citizen watches. Uh, Toyota, Hyundai, Honda. Uh, what else? Uh, pizza hot, right? That in Spanish is pizza la cabaña. Huh? <laughs> pizza hot, for example, right? So this is a brand, the name of the product, right? It's like a, a, you you bring a, a person to life, you know? Okay, it decreased. It, it says meke, but it's not meke. <laughs> meke. 
It's make, right? Sorry, it was a, a spelling mistake here. So, uh, Carla, please, can you help me reading? Carla Benazir, help me, please. Decrease. Okay, decrease to make something become smaller or less. Good. In this case of a, of a product, the product becomes smaller or less, right? So the smaller. decrease. And then the opposite, uh, Carlos, please. Carlos William, increase. Increase. To make something become larger in amount or size. It's the opposite, right? Decreases yes. and increases. Okay, good. Effort. Uh, Jose Roberto, can you help me, please? Effort. Okay. Effort. Uh, physical or mental activity needed to achieve something. Good. Thank you very much. And finally, uh, Aminda. Marketing. Okay, marketing, the world of advertising and offering goods of service for sales. Good, and we were talking about advertising, remember? Advertising, yeah. Uh -huh, yes, we were talking about that. So uh, when you advertise, you offer the product, right? So that is marketing, you know? Yeah. Anybody in the group work with marketing? Nobody? No. No, no. Okay, good. Well, but this is the topic for this unit, you know, uh, promoting a product. Good. Then uh, we're going to learn about some stages of the product life cycle, right? As I told you, every product has a cycle. You know what cycle is, right? So it's a process, a process, right? Like, like we human, we are uh, babies, toddlers, children, we adolescent, adults, older, okay? And then we, we disease, right? we die, you know? So that, that is a, a life cycle. That is the, the law of the life, right? So the same happened with some products, right? And I imagine some of you work with, with product, right? So some of you are designers, some of you uh, work in, in company where they sell clothes, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to learn about this. The first stage is market introduction. I will read for you because of the time, right? Market introduction. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. They bring the product to the market. The demand of the pro the demand, sorry, of the product might be low. So not many pro production of the product. Right? And marketing efforts try to develop branding, you know, to promote the brand or the name of the product, right? Quality and awareness, you know, awareness is like um, you have a conscious, everybody knows about the product, right? Awareness of the new product to innovate, right? Good. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Stage number one. Stage number two, growth. Growth, right? The new product registers uh, registers an increase, you know, increase in demand because more customers accept it. Now it's becoming more popular, right? The sales start to grow and there is a little competition. So people say, ah, oh, they are selling honey. Let's say uh, miel pacas, uh, you know, <laughs> hey, Mariano. <laughs> Can you imagine this? So everybody say, oh, this, this honey is very good. So they produce another uh, honey reyes for Vanessa Noemi. <laughs> honey reyes is the best. Don't buy pacas honey, buy <laughs> reyes honey, right? So there is a competition in, in the market, right? Okay, in growth. Now the next is maturity. Maturity is when the product is old, right? It's old. The growth in sales, decrease, goes down, right? Because there are many competitors. A lot of people is sending, selling honey, right? All people are selling honey now. That is honey packers become very popular. So <laughs> all the competitors are uh, trying to 
take the market, right? Market saturation, of course. Ooh, a lot of people are selling honey, right? The marketing efforts were to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than in the previous stage, right? So they say, everybody knows the product and nobody's buying the product, so I will reduce the price of the product, right? Okay, questions about this? Please, can you repeat the, the pronunciation, the growth? Growth. Growth. Okay. Growth. Growth. Grow is the verb, right? The noun is growth. In Spanish, crecimiento, right? Crecimiento, growth. Th -th 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 Tapo, growth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Growth, right? Okay. Any other question? Okay, next one, the next step, decline. Oh, right? The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Nobody is buying honey pacas. <laughs> Leche, no, I mean, miel pacas, nobody's buying, sorry, man. Sales stop, and the producers start making decisions about this continuing, say, we are not going to produce the product anymore. Buying out, that means that you buy the part of a, another company, right? Buying out competitors, right? Uh, my hamburger is not selling anymore. So I will buy a part of the company, Burger King, for example, right? I will buy a part of my competitor, you know, or selling it to another producer, right? So you say, I, I, I won't produce my product anymore. I will say my product to another producer, right? Okay, good. Uh, any question about this? Good, let's make a review, right? Let's make a review. So these are the stages, right? Number one, Market introduction. The product is a baby, right? Then we have growth. It's an adolescent, adolescent, right? The product is an adolescent. Then we have maturity. The product is old, old. And finally, the, the product decline is going down, right? The, it's going down. Some products, like we say, galletas tipo, right? still alive, but are not very popular. Of course, the monsters like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Domino's Pizza, et cetera, et cetera, those are monsters. But we're talking here about usual products, right? Shoes, clothes, food, uh, cars, telephones, pencils, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this is the the that what we know, the, the product life cycle, right? Do you have any question, class? No. No, no questions? This is kind of, well, it's complicated for me. Can you imagine? Because I, I, I'm not a, a businessman. Most of you are not businessmen, but the topic is, is about business, about selling product, right? Uh, some of you are working in, in, in clothes, right? I heard some of you are working for uh, Zona Francas, right? So they sell clothes, uh, shirts, pants, uh, underwear, et cetera, et cetera. So sometimes the products are attractive, but sometimes the products goes down, you know? So this is the product uh, life, mm -hmm. okay? Good. So if no questions, we're going to go to the manual, manual, right? I will show you the manual. What time is it? My goodness, oof, it's very late, but I'm gonna try to follow this. Okay, this is the manual for intermediate three. Right? You know, uh, this girl is showing some products here, right? This is the module number three. And you know everything about this, right? English for work, in support promotes deeds, 
It's an excellent manual, of course. And here we have the four units. In 25 classes, we are going to, to work with these four units, right? The product life cycle, this is the unit number one. Unit number two, marketing. And number three, branding, you know, brand, the name of the product. And number four, loyalty. That if you like a product, like, who said that, Mariano, I guess, say that you love Coca-Cola, right? Or who said that love Coca-Cola? <laughs> So that, that is loyalty, yeah, you know? So we're going to learn about uh, these four units, right? In 25 days, here we have the, the competences, the vocabulary. This is in your manual too. You can print the manual if you want, or you can download it, right? I repeat, at the end of the class, I will send the, the manual in, in PDF, PDF to the, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, and also I will send the, the PowerPoint presentation for tonight. After the class finish, finishes, right? I will send the, the manual and the PowerPoint presentation, right? Good. And this is the grammar. We're going to learn about would rather. We're going to see some videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? <clears throat> Good. And this is the unit number one, the product life cycle, right? Here we have the objective. And this is the, the warm up, right? The introduction, but we have talked a lot, right? Then look at the definitions of the stages of the product life cycle, match them to the appropriate pace. Check your answer with a class. Okay, good. So it's time to work. It's time to work. You're going to match maturity, growth, decline, and market introduction. Letter A, V, C, and D, right? Good. Now, please raise your hands. And let's start with letter A. What is letter A? Raise your hand, please. Volunteers, volunteers. Mariano. Okay. And uh, the number one. Letter A. Letter uh -huh. A, pardon. Uh -huh. What is letter A? Uh, maturity. Mm -hmm. no, uh, no, 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 no. Decline. Decline. Mm -hmm. Yes, decline. Correct. Decline, right? Letter yes. A, decline. Good. Uh, Aminda, please. Letter B. Letter B is the market introductions. Okie dokie, market introduction, right? Letter C, I have uh, when two or three participants raise their hands, uh, it's difficult for me. I will say Carlos, Carlos, please. Uh, letter C. Letter C, maturity. Maturity, excellent. Thank you. And the last one, easy, right? Domingo? The new product is a uh, little D is grown. Growth. 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 Very good. Growth. Excellent. Growth. Very good. So, class, do you have any question about this topic? Remember, this product, uh, these stages, sorry, are in, in the PowerPoint presentation. So, after the class, tomorrow, I'm sorry. In the video, you're going to see it, but tonight you're going to see it in the in the in the PowerPoint presentation, right? Okay, so let's continue working. Gina, uh, I need to clarify this. Gina is not a chancleta. Gina is a person, right? Understand? Okay. Gina and Nelson are talking about green tor tortricas. It's a product like churritos, you know, churritos. Yeah. Okay, churritos a new product that has been introduced to the market recently, okay? Take turns practicing the model conversation. Okay, I will read for you and later uh, I will uh, ask some students to help me, right? Uh, reading the conversation. So it says, Gina says, have you tried the new green tortricas? <laughs> tortricas? Uh, what's that, say Nelson? 
it sounds like tortillas or tortilla. Torti you can say tortillas or tortillas. The two are correct, yes. And Gina said, they're actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Remember, actually means in fact, right? Don't say actually, actualmente, actually. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Actually is in fact, right? And then she says, mm, they sound delicious. Where do you get them? And Gina said, they're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. They're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. And Nelson said, let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. Okay, good. Now, uh, I will have uh, Trini and Oscar Anulfo. Can you help me with the conversation, please? But give me a second, give me a second. We'll, I will introduce the, the conversation, right? Trini and Oscar, right? Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we present Trini and Oscar Arnulfo. Action. How do you try, how do you try the new green tortricas? What that? That's sound like tortillas. They're actually corn chip with avocado flavor. Mm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere. Yet only low prices market sell them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try Greek tortillas. Okay, the okay, class, yes, for these actors. Really good, right? Excellent. Uh, uh, for a moment, Trini, I heard you say green tortica, but <laughs> for me, it's difficult to pronounce. Listen, green tortica. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, right? <laughs> okay, and uh, Oscar made the exact pronunciation. I say, mm, nobody's. Mm. Mm, right, it's like delicious, right? Okay, good. Two more volunteers, two more volunteers. And uh, let me see, Salvador Chamba, please, Chamba, can you help me? Uh, yes, please. You're going to practice it with uh, Carla Vanessa, please. Ah, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yvette, Yvette uh, wants to participate. Yvette, you want to make it? Yes, yes, okay, good. So Chamba, you're Nelson, and uh, Yvette, you're going to be Gina, right? Wait, give me a second, give me a second. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Cujucuyo in Santa Ana, we present tonight, Yvette and Chamba, action. Uh -huh, Hi, Beth. The, micro the microphone. The <laughs> uh, How do you try the new green tortillas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They are actually corn chips with avocado flavor. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere yet. Only low price market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right? Good. And we still have time for one more. One more because uh, I was planning to show you a video tonight, but uh, for the inconvenience I have with the the technical problems I have, so, sorry, excuse me. We are going to see the video tomorrow. So we're going to practice the last time and then we're gonna make some questions about this, right? So who's going to help me? Leslie is there? Leslie, are you there? 
Uh, okay, no. So I have two more participants. Give me a second. Uh, okay, yes. Mariano. Mariano and... Who's the other? Mariano and... Well, Carla, please. Can you help me, Carla? Carla Benazir, please help me. Uh, of course, Carla, you're going to be Gina. And Mariano, you're going to be Nelson, right? So again, uh, okay. wait, wait, give me a second. <clears throat> the last introduction, right? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Mercado Central, we have <laughs> Carla and Mariano. Action. Have you, okay. Have you tried the new grain tortillas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They are actually car sheep with avocado flour. Mmm, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They are not everywhere, everywhere yet. Only low price. Mm, low price markup sells them at the moment. At the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortillas. Okay. Yes, it's complicated name, right, Mariano? Okay. Very yes. good. Thank you, Klaus. Klaus, very good. Thank now, you. Uh, this is have, have you, have you, it's not exactly have you, right? Have you tried, tried? It's a regular verb, remember? Regular verb. Right? So you said tried. And then uh, tortillas is, you can say tortillas or tortillas, no problem, right? Uh, and then this is avocado flavor, avocado flavor, right? Avocado, mm -mm. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, yes, it's only this pronunciation, avocado flavor, right? Flavor. And um, this is, this one, uh, get them. When you say this, class, you link the sound. Look, you link the sound. You don't say get them, but get them, get them, get them, right? And let me see. Um, give me a second here. Yes, only that, right? So you link the sound, you link the sound, okay? Uh, okay, I got your message, Yvette. No problem, I will take the attendance. No problem, Yvette, and welcome to the class. Thank you. Good. Now, I have a question before we finish. In what stage of the product life cycle do you think green tortricas is? In what stage? Market introduction. To Market introduction. Mm -hmm. Market introduction. Okay. A second opinion? A second opinion? Anybody else? Come on, guys. Only one participation. Come on. In what in what stage again? In what Teacher, stage? Yes, tell me. Ever, maybe, ever. maybe growth. Possibly, right? Okay. Growth. Maybe, maybe. Yes, it's a possibility. So, but in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I believe also is market introduction, right? But this is my personal opinion. Could be growth, could be market introduction. But I repeat, in my personal opinion, it's market introduction. Good. So class, I don't know if you have any extra question about the class tonight. No questions? So we'll take the attendance, right? Take care. Okay, take thank take you, care. thank you. So I will stay with Domingo for 10 more minutes, but I will take the attendance for the last time, please. And say, please, present, right? And after you, I say, your name, except Domingo, please don't go. Domingo, only you stay with me. But the rest, you can say good night, and then you can disconnect, right? Okay, Mariano Jose? Present. 
ever de Jesús. Security teacher. Okay. Have a good night. Carla Vanessa. Present teacher. Good. Debbie. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Vanessa mm -hmm. Noemi. Vanessa. Good night, teacher. Good night. Happy. God bless you. Laisley. Wendy Karina. I'm Wendy? here. I'm here. Okay, good. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. Carla Benazir. Present. Good. Uh, some, Carla, sometimes I will tell you Carla Benazir because we, also, we already have Carla Vanessa too, right? Okay. okay. Have a good night. Good night. Uh, Car okay. Welcome. Carlos William. Present and good night. Good night. God bless you. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Okay. Aminda. Present. Good. Have a good night. Trini. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Oscar. Present. Good. Chamba. Chamba. Here, mister. Good. Good. good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Okay. Uh, Vanessa Noemi, I already mentioned, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Domingo? So yes. welcome. Welcome. How did you like the class, Domingo? Uh, teacher, yeah, thank teacher. you, Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. Do I have to mention? Sorry. Give me a second, Domingo. Uh, Claudia, tengo que mencionarla siempre. Claudia? Teacher, oh. I am ready. Leticia. Leticia. You don't mention. Ah, me. good. Leticia, uh, give me your full name. Give me a second, Domingo. Uh, Regala un segundito, yeah. Domingo. Uh -huh. Your yeah, full yeah, name. Yes. Eh, Leticia García. Leticia García. Estuvo en toda la clase, Leticia. Eh, por momentos, porque como mi internet estaba, estaba algo fallando. lento. Va, está sí. bien. Eh, eh, ¿Pero tiene alguna pregunta, Leticia? No, no, no. no? Esto es una segunda parte. Cuando ah, ok, good. A las nueve. Ah, bueno, está bien. Pero cuando sea así, levánteme la mano o dígame para tomarla en cuenta, oiga. Okay. Ah, ok, teacher. Good, thank okay. you, Leticia. Have a good night. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. 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 Good pleasure. Good night. Okay, me too, me too. Okay, Domingo. Now okay, we, we're ready, right? So how, how do you like the class, well, uh, Domingo? Did you like uh, the class? Uh, yes, uh, the, it's a good at the class. And uh, I, I know the question. Do you have questions the about? Uh, the, uh, well, in, the question is uh, the, the person is must the my eh uh, más que todo por la otra semana de esta semana la otra va a estar de noche y mm -hmm. no sé cómo cómo va a estar la cuestión de para estarme conectando. Okay. Me puedo so, conectar pero next week. ¿verdad? It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, domingo. The five days. Es es the Friday. Es um uh, you are going to have problems to connect next week. Uh, uh, the, the five uh, days? Week, no. uh, uh, the, uh, digamos, uh, the... Yeah, you can speak Spanish. Don't worry. Speak Spanish. Okay. But, uh, digamos, la otra semana, de esta a la otra semana, voy, uh, me pasaron, no estaba en turno, sino que ahora me comunicaron que iba a entrar a turno. Mm -hmm. Entonces, de esta a la otra, digamos, voy a estar trabajando ya de noche. Ajá. Sería una semana nada más. But what days? To, todos los días, de, de lunes a viernes. Ajá, de, de, ajá. ¿Y de cuál va a ser el horario, Domingo? Estaría yo de 7 a 6 de la mañana, pero... Okay. Toda la noche. La, sí, lo único que, la ventaja que tengo es que... Eh, no, no, no trabajo, o sea, solo cuando me sale algún compromiso en alguna máquina. 
Mm, quiere decir entonces, que puede llevar su teléfono. Sí, entonces solo ajá, ahorita ocupo la computadora, pero usaría el teléfono y, y en algún momento tal vez eh, puedo conectar, pero en algún momento tendría que tal vez desconectarme. Sí, por ejemplo, le dicen, venga a ver esta máquina, entonces usted se va a ajá. levantar y va a dejar, sí. Entonces, Puedo tener ¿qué? encendida la cámara, pero no estaría... Pues, eso le iba a decir, directo. Domingo. Eso le iba a decir. Usted deja encendida la cámara y cuando yo diga, Domingo, y usted no contesta, yo voy a entender de que usted anda revisando una máquina. Ajá, o, 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 puedo, o no puedo contestar y decirle... Estoy, eh, eh, oh, ahí se va a ver que estoy ocupado. Sí, sí, <risa> si no, no la no pago, problema. a ver qué momento. I understand, no worry. Ya Debería. entiendo perfectamente, Ajá. Domingo. Y le agradezco Ajá. que me diga porque se ve el esfuerzo que usted quiere hacer de estar en la clase. Ok, y anteriormente he estado en todos los niveles de intermedio, me imagino. Sí, he ¿Qué? estado... ¿Quién era su teacher estado... anteriormente? ¿Quién era su teacher? Eh, ¿Cómo se, se llamaba? Teacher, soy malo para los nombres. Es apellido... Ajá, después no me eh... voy a olvidar de mí, eh, Domingo. <risa> Bueno, eh, lo que le quiero decir es que si se, anteriormente se dio esta situación para... No, 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 no hasta, hasta, hasta ahora que no estaba en turno, pues me, ahora me programaron para estar ya a, a, a sustituir a otro compañero de trabajo. Ok, pero me imagino que su curso. jefe sabe que usted está tomando los cursos de inglés. Eh, en recursos humanos, sí. Sí, sabe. Uh -huh. ah, bueno, bueno mi jefe ya, ya también ya le dije, entonces, eh, pero igual va. Eh, pero voy a tratar la manera de estar en el curso. No, no hay problema. No, solo, no, no hay... solo que en, en algunos que en algunos momentitos tal vez avisaría que tendría que estar, uh, depende de cómo esté la noche, en veces casi no me sale trabajo, pero en veces sale algo. Algo ocupado, no ¿verdad? Sí, no hay problema. Ajá. Eh, bueno, hoy se fijó que tuve muchos problemas. De, al, solo inicié la clase. Eh, no tenía la clave de acceso y uf, se me hizo un problema súper grande. Y después ya vio que el listado, eh, tengo un listado incorrecto. Entonces se me complicó mucho la clase, pero, pero eh, aparte de, de las actividades que hicimos, ¿verdad? De discusión, lo que me interesa a mí, eh, Domingo, es saber si usted eh, entendió los pasos de la vida de un producto. Ah, Ok, eh, eh, sí, entendí, eh, digamos, eh, uh, los, lo de, lo del, ¿cómo se llama? De marketing. Eh, ajá, la vida eh, del producto. ¿eh? La vida del producto, ajá, los, los, estamos hablando de cuatro pasos, de cuatro uh -huh. pasos de la bebida, el, el, como digamos, el que decía el producto de inicio, el new, el new product. Uh -huh. Marketing Introduction es, se llama. Market, o sea, entonces Ajá. sería el nuevo producto de Marketing Introduction. Sí. El Growth, eh, así se pronuncia, va. Ah, el, el crecimiento. El crecimiento. El crecimiento el, el, y el otro era el de Living. El, no, maturity. El de clip, de, de, uh -huh. Maturity. Maturity. Ajá, que es madureva, maturity. Ajá, ajá, maturity. Y del último era. Eh, ya lo dijo usted, ajá, ¿cuál es? Decline. Decline. Sí. Decline. Sí. Decline. Ajá. Entonces, Tengo que mejorar la plazo, pronunciación. Ajá. Market introduction, que es la introducción del producto al mercado, ¿verdad? Oh. Del growth, uh -huh. que es el crecimiento del, del producto. Todos empiezan como el de las tortricas. Para uh -huh. mí estaba en, en market introduction, pero también en growth, las tortricas, ¿va? Decía que uh -huh. ya se estaba vendiendo en algunos lugares, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y luego la maturity es cuando ya el producto... Ya está viejo, pues ya, ya es maduro, como dice, ¿verdad? Y por último, como la mayoría de productos este, bajan, ¿verdad? ¿Usted Ajá. dónde trabaja exactamente, Domingo? Eh, trabajo en una empresa textil ahí en Rayones, se llama, en, mm, Rayones, en la ¿no? zona Ajá, en Ilopango. ¿Y usted conoce Ajá. algún producto que produzcan ahí? ¿Algún nombre del producto que...? ¿Alguna en marca sí. de camisa, por decir algo, o algo así? No, nosotros como producimos producto textil, por lo general ellos producen algún producto que es toalla para, para hoteles. Ajá, ¿y qué uh -huh. marca es la toalla? ¿No sabe usted? Uh, se llama esta... Se me olvidó el nombre. Como que está de mantenimiento, casi no veo los productos. Sí, sí. Uh, uh -huh. Ajá. 
Digamos, eh, tú pero... la, la suavecita, supongamos, ¿no? solo por darle un nombre, la suavecita. Entonces, Ajá, lo que... la, toda esa suavecita, me imagino que empezaron a producirla. Hubo una introducción al mercado de los hoteles, me imagino. Uh -huh. Solo estoy imaginando, no sé si realmente así fue, ¿verdad? Pero luego este, hubo un crecimiento, ya muchos hoteles, eh, restaurantes, no sé, empezaron a pedir este producto, ¿verdad? Eh, que me imagino que la compañía está en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿Usted ha equivocado? Sí. No, esta no. compañía, es que el problema es que esta compañía produce para, otro, para otras marcas. Ah, correcto, o sea, yo, yo entiendo, ajá. yo entiendo lo que es, lo que es maquila, es decir, ustedes ajá. producen el producto y otra compañía lo vende, ¿sí? Ajá, así Entonces, es. Vale, pero supongamos que es la de Apple, compañía Apple, compañía La Manzana. Ajá. Esta compañía introdujo al mercado la toalla esta, suavecita. Luego eh, empezaron, empezó a crecer, growth. Todo el mundo empezó a conocerla. Y eh, llegó una... Me imagino yo que ahorita está en una etapa de, de crecimiento o de maturity, ¿verdad? Madurez. Uh -huh. eh, pero imaginémonos dentro de tres años, Domingo. ¿Cree uh -huh. usted que dentro de tres años este producto podía decaer? Decline. The client, uh, yes, but, uh, it's a possibility, it's, right? Uh, it's a possibility. It's, uh, a, it's a time. Uh, it's, okay. It's, it's mm -hmm. a possibility. So this is an example. Uh, este es un mm -hmm. ejemplo de cómo, cómo un producto existe, crece, se reproduce. Se reproduce. <laughs> mm -hmm. En el caso del producto no, no se reproduce, pero eh, se produce, más bien dicho, por, la, por una compañía y luego muere, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, okay, sí, sí, eso sí, sí, sí. eso sería el, el tema de ahora lo único que hemos visto ¿verdad? no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta Domingo no, ahorita no, no, no tengo no, vale. okay. eh, y con su proceso de, de aprendizaje del, del idioma inglés ¿qué recursos utiliza Domingo? Eh, parte de esta trata... clase obviamente ¿o? Ajá, eh, fíjese que veo eh, más que todo en el que se llama el Instagram, agregué varias cosas y, uh -huh. y ahí veo, eh, veo tics cortos de, de pronunciación y de palabras o frases. Ok. Yo ocupo Instagram, va. Eh, y, y, y prácticamente casi solo documentales de, de, de inglés tengo ahí. Excelente. Eh, Muy bien. Eh, ocupo, digamos, eh, una aplicación de Spotify de música en inglés. Solo estoy, en la mañana que voy, ocupo y, música en inglés para... Y va poniendo la letra en inglés. Ah, cuando puedo veo el, 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 el estilo karaoke que tiene y veo viendo la letra. ¿eh? Uh -huh. eh, Ajá. Hoy les mandé un video al grupo. No sé ah, si sí, me costó. Lo estuve viendo, pero me costó. Estaba costando porque es muy rápido. <risa> <risa> Hay una parte que... No, un woman... Todo... Eh, ajá, pero un woman sí, lo, in black dress, un rock de los ajá, 70 ajá. ajá, pero hay una parte donde que, que hace bien rápido y no la logro, lo, eh, pero igual sí estuve viendo la letra y logré entender mucho lo que hablaba la canción y sí, sí. ¿Le, le gustó, le gustó la canción ajá. no, me gusta la música 80 y 90, ah, okay. ajá, me gusta bastante y el rock cada, en inglés, jueves, eh. cada jueves ajá. le puede estar mandando una canción es que ah, pinta, está bien yo tengo un programa, ¿verdad? Esto no es parte del, de la clase, sino que es un video que yo les voy a estar mandando diariamente para que ustedes tengan material extra, ¿sí? No está relacionado con la clase, pero así como usted que usted dedica tiempo, aunque sea poquito de tiempo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. A practicar su inglés, le puede servir esos videos. El programa es así, mire, Domingo. El lunes es vocabulario. Okay. El martes es gramática. Miércoles es son ejercicios de escuchar, listening. El jueves es música y mañana viernes le voy a subir un video de, de conversaciones. Conversation. Okay. Entonces, Está bien. entonces, usted lo único que va a hacer, pues, abrirlo y ya practicarlo un ratito, ¿sí? Ok. Sí, hoy que venía en el bus, estuve queriéndolo practicar. Y... Sí, sí. Pero sí, sí. Pero está bien, me parece. Necesita tiempo. Muy y usted bien. ya ha viajado a Estados Unidos, Domingo. No. No, no, todavía no. No. Pero no, puede ser. Rato. Es un proyecto. Sí. No se sabe. No se sí, sabe. No se sabe, ¿verdad? Siempre hay oportunidades y el inglés le aseguro que le va a abrir muchas puertas, ¿verdad? Y 
Eh, y no, es que a mí me necesito más que todo por el tipo de trabajo que llevo con mantenimiento y ver manuales de maquinaria en inglés. Están la mayoría, están en inglés. Sí, sí. Cualquier sí, cosa ahí, con vocabulario estamos a la orden, ¿verdad? Si, si necesita ayuda, pues. Okay. Ahí, estamos, ahí estamos a la orden, oiga. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good, Domingo. It was uh -huh. a pleasure. Ha sido un placer, ¿verdad? Haber estado con usted. Este, eh, como les dije, a mí me gusta la clase dinámica, sí, pero si hay alguna sugerencia, hablo muy lento, muy rápido, o hay algo que ustedes no entiendan, por favor, Domingo, usted deténgame. ¿Sí? Ok. Mire, mire, no lo entendí, así que repeat again, o give me more examples. ¿no? Por ejemplo, el lunes vamos a ver este, bastante gramática. Entonces, usted sabe que la gramática, un español, pues es un poco complicada, ¿verdad? Así que ahí si hay algo que no entienda, pues ahí me detiene, oiga. Ok. ¿Te parece? Ajá. Okay. Y, y un último consejo, este, usted tiene Netflix o Amazon o, o Disney, alguna... Okay. Eh, para ver películas sí ah bueno eh, ajá. Netflix sí. tiene Netflix no no Netflix no pero tengo el cable veo pero igual usted sabe cable. que hay una opción para poner en inglés algunos canales verdad sí ah ok ajá. y la, la utiliza eh, tengo una en el celular que es trato de ver series en inglés ok eh, pero en el cable viendo... domingo, domingo en el ajá. cable usted ¿Ha cambiado algunos canales al inglés? La, la computadora toda la, toda la tengo en inglés. Ah, eh, okay. Algunos canales los tengo en inglés. No todos. Los, no, que los, algunos canales... Es que no los, los acepta inglés, todos. Pues... No los acepta uh -huh. todos, solo algunos. Ajá. Entonces, en eh, ajá. Eh, como cuando... Más que todos los que tengo en inglés son los que... Son donde veo personas con, eh, conversando, de, digamos, uh -huh. uno de, de comida, que habla de comida y todo eso. Okay. Uno de, 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 de mecánica. Ajá. Okay. Y, algún, y una serie que, y algunas que estaba viendo la vez pasada estuve viendo, quería ver si lograba entender un poquito todo de Tron en inglés muy bien, uh, le voy a dar el último consejo entonces, eh, usted ha escuchado hablar de audiolibros, audiobooks sí okay. uh -huh. ¿sabe usted que en, en YouTube hay varios audiolibros? no, no sabía que había en YouTube vaya, entonces váyase usted a YouTube y póngale audiobooks audiobooks Correcto. Ahí le va a ayudar a usted en, tanto en la pronunciación, en la lectura, en la comprensión. Y son videos de, de dos horas hasta tres horas, ¿no? porque son libros. Son libros. Uh -huh. Entonces va leyendo y usted va, puede ir repitiendo también si usted quiere. Entonces, y obviamente no lo va a hacer en un día, ¿no? pero usted vaya poquito a poquito, escoja un libro. Por ejemplo, a, a mí me gustó al principito. Ahí uh -huh. está en YouTube, el libro. Sí, en inglés. Sí. Así que ese es otro consejo que le doy, ¿verdad? Y lo felicito por su dedicación. Oiga. Uh -huh. Así que está. Hoy, hoy que esté más de turno, te me queda más tiempo de estudiar. Ok, <ríe> ocho, Very good. No queda tacha, sí. uh -huh. Excelente, bueno. domingo. Ok, so okay it was a pleasure. Have a good night. Uh -huh. Have a uh, good night. Entonces, I see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye okay. bye.